Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Um. All right, Shalom. My name is Yehoshua. I'm with Israel United in Christ. And hey, y'all brothers right here, y'all stop and listen real quick. What we out here to teach is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are God's chosen people. And what we're teaching is that you got to stop buying on the Sabbath. You got to stop coming out here to the farmer's market on the Sabbath. Good. You got to stop selling that butterfly shrimp because God said that's an abomination. Good. 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 My brother with uh, Chef Joseph, what's your hey, name? Hey, brother. What's what's respect? Respect? Hey, I hear you, but keep that away from here. We're just trying to run a business. Nah, nah. Well, what you got to do is you got to run your business on any other day outside of the Sabbath. Yes, right. Give me Amos chapter 9, verse 11. All right. Yeah, we, well, don't engage then, but you're going to get this Bible, though. Nah, because you wanted to call your brother up and talk about IUIC. Well, let's talk about the Bible real quick. Right. This is what the Bible say about you and what you're doing with our right. people right now. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. Come on. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 11. Uh-huh. In that day will I rise up, tabernacle. Verse 10. Read it. Verse 10. Read. All the sinners of my people. The Bible says all the sinners of my people are what? Read. Shall die. By the sword. The Bible says that all the sinners of God's chosen people are gonna die by the sword. Right. And all my people right over here at this booth, Chef Joseph, y'all in the midst of sin, and you're causing your own people to sin. Right. right. So if Christ came back today, guess what? You getting burnt the hell up. Right. right. But you gotta die, my brother. Right. That's what I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm righteous, brother. You're not you righteous, say brother. You say. You're not righteous. Give me, yeah, give me, give me Romans bro. chapter seven. Yeah. You know, you the furthest thing from righteous. I'm gonna show you what righteousness is. So now I'm not the judge, but I'm a, I'm the teacher, and I'm gonna teach you that you're not righteous. That's right. Give me another reader. Levi. Romans, 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 Romans 7 and 12. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Read. Wherefore the law is holy, uh -huh. and the commandment is holy. So the Bible says that the law is holy. Read. And just and good. And just and good. That's not what I, I want to uh, give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Bring it up. No, matter of fact, give me Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. You got what I want to look? Give me a few out. more minutes. Six. Luke 1 and 6. My brother over here that's selling on the Sabbath, shaved his beard off, selling shrimp, said that he's righteous. You the furthest thing from righteous. Chef right. Joseph, read right. what righteousness is. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 6. Read. And they were both righteous before God. So the Bible is going to give you a description of some people that were righteous before God. Bring it up. Let's see if they were buying and selling on the Sabbath. Let's see if they were eating shrimp. Let's see if they had a shaved head and a shaved beard. Right. Read. Walking in all the commandments and ordinance of the Lord blameless. The Bible says that if you're righteous, you're walking in all the commandments of the Most High God. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because y'all y'all been standing over there for the last two hours defiling the Lord's Sabbath and ain't got nothing said to you. That's right. That, that makes me upset. This I'm is a, the I'm book. I'm going to use some, some good, good, good words. Chapter read. 6 and verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness. So the righteousness of the so-called black man, or the so-called Hispanic man, the so-called Native American man, is what? Righteousness. If we observe to do all these commandments. So if you observe to do God's commandments, that's what righteousness is. Go ahead and read Leviticus 11 and 9. Take a step to the right. Read, read that again and give me Leviticus 11 and 9. My, my brother selling seafood, he, he's selling butterfly shrimp, calling himself righteous. Read that again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. Get that? Yes, sir. And it shall be our righteousness uh -huh. if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. Hey, Chef Joseph, you're not righteous because you're not keeping God's commandments. This is what God commands. This is what God commands about that shrimp you're selling over there. Read Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. Hey, hey, look. This is what a righteous brother would do when he hears this Bible right here. Read. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So the Bible is going to tell you what you can eat that's in the water. 
Let's find out if butterfly coconut shrimp is something that you can eat. Read. Whatsoever has fins and scales. You can say whatever words you want. When Christ come back and drop that bomb, it's going to burn your hind pots up. Read. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the water. Shrimp ain't got fins and scales. Read. What? In the seas and in the rivers. Uh-huh. Them shall ye eat. Go back to Luke 1 and 6. Read. And all that have not fins. So guess what doesn't have fins? Shrimp doesn't have fins. Crabs don't have fins. What? Catfish don't have scales. That's right. Read. And scales. Read. In the sea. Uh-huh. And in the river. Read. Of all that move in the water. Uh-huh. And of any living thing which is in the waters. Read. They shall be an abomination. So my brother is out here selling his own people an abomination to the Lord, his God. That's right. You hate God, my brother. You hate yourself and you hate your people. Right. Read. They shall be an abomination unto you. Read, read. This is the read book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 6. Uh -huh. And they were both righteous before God. So the righteous people understood what Leviticus 11 just said. Right. Give me the last two verses in, in Leviticus 11. Keep reading. Walking in the commandments uh -huh. and ordinance of the Lord blameless. They were walking in the commandments of the Lord blameless. That's right. You got tons of blame on you, brother. Right. Satan is blaming you right now. And guess what? I'm blaming you too. That's right. I'm going to read this Bible and blame you for your sins. Read Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 46. Give me numbers 15. This is the law of the beast uh -huh. and of the fowl. So the Lord gave us laws. These are the same laws that we read about in Luke chapter 1. Read. And of every living creature uh -huh. that moveth in the waters. Read. And of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. Speed up. To make a difference between. The Lord made a difference between what? The unclean. The unclean. And the clean. And the clean. Keep reading. And between the beast that may be eaten. And a difference between the beast or the animals that may be eaten and what? And the beast that may not be eaten. So the Lord told you that you can't eat shrimp. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. The Lord said you can't eat shrimp. Right. right. I am talking to you. The Lord said you can't eat crabs. That's right. right. The Lord said that you can't come out here on Saturdays right. and buy from this business over here. That's right. right. Now read Numbers 15, start at verse 32. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 32. And while the children of Israel, which, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, I'm going to give you some history about this day that you were defiling right now. Read. Well, in the wilderness, uh -huh. they found a man that gathering sticks so, upon. So there was a man gathering sticks on what day? Upon the seventh day. On the seventh day of the week. So if he was here today, what day of the week would that be? That would be Saturday. That's right. So the Israelites had a brother that was that was uh, gathering sticks. Mm -hmm. He was doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing on Saturday. Right. right. And they that found him gathering sticks uh -huh. brought him unto Moses and Aaron. And what we doing right now we ain't bringing you to Moses or Aaron, but we, we calling your name up to the Most High God. Right. And we're saying, look, this day you got marked. This day you understood that you shouldn't be shaving your head. All three of y'all got shaved heads. That's right. All three of y'all in this thing together selling coconut shrimp to your sisters. Keep reading. And unto all the congregation. And they put him a word because it was not declared what should be done to him. So this brother that was breaking the Sabbath, like these brothers here, like my sisters here, all of y'all got to repent from that sin. Right. Under Moses, y'all would have been put in jail and then a, a, a judgment would have had to be determined for you. Read. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. the man shall be surely put to death. The Bible says that defiling God's Sabbath is punishable by death. That's right. Punishable by death. So you coming out here to buy from this business on a Saturday is punishable by death. Was that on the same point or a different point? Abomination. Read. Now, now hold that. Hold that and go to Romans 6. Bring that up. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 15, verse 13. Uh-huh. The Lord hateth all abomination. God says he hates all abomination. And, and, and guess what's abominable? Women wearing pants is an abomination to the Most High God. That's right. Guess what else is an abomination? Buying and selling on Saturday is an abomination. That's right. Guess what else is an abomination? Blonde hair on a black woman is an abomination according right. to the Bible. Right. Guess what else is an abomination? Coconut shrimp. I'm not an abomination. 
I'm a righteous prophet of the Most High God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So you need Bring to be quiet and respect that. Right. Hey, we hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. Shoot. You're like a fly right now. Read what you got. We're not Christians. We're Israelites. That's right. Go back home. Read. Wow. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6. Verse 23. Come on, verse, man. Verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Right. So the same death that's coming to the so-called white man when Christ comes back to destroy his kingdom and his hind pots is coming to all of you black sinners out here buying coconut shrimp on the Sabbath. That's right. Yeah, the best thing for y'all to do, the Lord is sparing y'all from y'all sins right now. The best thing for y'all to do is to go home and enjoy the Sabbath day. Take the pants off, put a dress on like my beautiful righteous sister right here. Follow the example of your foremothers and repent from your ways of sin. Read it right. again. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. You holding something for me? Uh, I'm gonna finish it up. Finish it up. Go back to numbers. And they that fear him uh -huh. loveth it not. So those that fear the Lord don't love shrimp. Right. A woman that loves the Lord don't love pants. Right. A man that loves the Lord don't shave his head and he don't shave his beard. That's right. That's right. Read what you got. Number 15, pick up where you left off. Yes, sir. Verse 34. Uh-huh. And they put him in one. Read. Because it was not declared what should be done to him. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto Moses, Read. The man shall be surely put to death. So the judgment for you brothers out here under Moses is you got to die. You want to come set up a little shop and sell shrimp on the Sabbath day? You got to die for that. You want to come out here and shave your head? You got to die for that. You want to come interrupt the Israelites when we teach in the Bible? You got to die for that too. Right. Read. Read. Give, give me Matthew 15. Read. And the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. Moses says you got to get stoned for breaking God's commandments on the Sabbath day. Read. And all the Drop congregation Acts, uh, broke uh, him Moses. without the camp 13, and stoned him uh -huh. with stones. Read. And he died. As the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord commanded Moses to execute that judgment and throw them stones on that brother's head for defiling the Sabbath. But we ain't throwing no stones on our brother's head. That's right. We calling our brothers and our sisters to repentance. That's right. What we telling our brothers over here to do, stop shaving your head, black man. You look like a woman when you shave your beard and your hair. You look like a baby. Stop that. That's, that's confusing. The Lord put a beard on your face for a reason. That's right. And you need to keep it on your face. Read where you at? I, I, Keep numbers, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep numbers, 15, 38, come on, okay, 37, 30, come on, read. 37. Uh-huh. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, speak unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes. So this is the history behind fringes. So you look at brothers over here, we got fringes on our clothes, and you want to know why we wearing that. We wearing these fringes on our clothes because we understand one of our brothers was doing what they were doing, and we repented from that. Right. These fringes remind us of the brother that was picking up sticks on the Sabbath. Right. You are that brother that was picking up sticks on the Sabbath. You preparing to do work. You preparing to cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. What That's you right. got for me? The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 38. So we just read about the judgment under Moses. And we read in the New Testament that the wages for sin is death. But what did Christ say? Read. Be it known unto you, therefore, uh -huh. men and brethren. So y'all are men, y'all are our brothers. We ain't speaking nice to y'all because y'all men, you ain't supposed to be emotional. I should be able to say whatever I got to say to another man and you just be able to receive that. Read. Right. That through this man uh -huh. is preached unto you. Who's that man? Jesus the Christ. That's right. The black Messiah. That's, That's right. right. The black Messiah. That's, That's right. right. Read. Read. Through this man uh -huh. is preached unto you. The forgiveness of sin. So all my brothers over here, all my sisters over here, y'all in the midst of sin right now. Right. But the Lord said he will forgive you for your sins if you repent. That's right. And that's what we out here trying to do. We're trying to get our brothers and our sisters to repentance. Read. Right. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. So you can be justified from defiling the Lord's Sabbath. You can be justified from from uh, feeding abominable foods to your own people. Right. Read. From which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. If Moses was, his covenant was still here, we'd be gathering all of y'all up, putting y'all ass in jail, and killing you. That's right. That's what we would be doing under Moses. But under Christ, we're trying to teach our brothers, put that shrimp down. Right. Stop coming out here on Saturday, defiling the Lord's day. Right. Right. Keep reading. Verse 40. 
Beware therefore, uh -huh. lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. What, what did the prophets speak about? They spoke about the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That's right. And guess who's getting sacrificed on that day? Your black pine pots. Right. You got to get sacrificed for your sins because you didn't accept the sacrifice of the Lord. That's, That's right. right. Finish that up in Numbers 15. Yes, sir. And bid them that they may make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So that's what you're looking at on the bottom of our clothes. Fringes on the border of our garments. Keep reading. Throughout their generation. Keep reading. And that they put upon the fringe the borders of a ribbon of blue. Uh-huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it. Brother, you got to repent from that sin that you in. And Matthew, uh, keep reading. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. The reason is say you got to remember the Lord all our people done forgot the Lord. Right. If you out here celebrating Juneteenth, it's because you forgot the Lord. That's right. The Lord was the one that sent you to America in chains. That's right. And the same condition you was in back then is the same condition that you in today. That's right. right. You was a slave in 1619. You a slave in 2021. That's right. But guess what? You was a slave to the so-called white man back then, and now you a slave to your sins. That's right. Because you can't put the shrimp down. You can't come stop coming out here on Saturdays. You can't stop shaving your head. So your condition will never change as long as you're in the midst of your sin. That's right. right. You got that for me? Said Matthew. Yeah, Matthew, uh, uh, repentance, 4, 17. I got you. Give me repentance. Give me something on repentance. Come on. Matthew 4, 17. Where your Bible at? The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 17. Read. From that time, Jesus began to preach. So Jesus Christ was preaching to you then, and guess what? Jesus Christ is preaching you to, to this right. day. He's teaching to my sisters right here. What is Christ teaching? Read. And to say. Hey, bro, go down, go down that way. If you don't want to hear what we teaching, you don't got to be out here. We'll, we'll keep going there. We ain't shutting up. We're going to keep reading the Bible. That's right. That's right. Don't, don't come say something and then walk down that way. Read. Repent. We ain't going nowhere. Read. Repent. Uh-huh. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What y'all brothers got to do, y'all got to repent. Right. We ain't scared of none of y'all. We're going right. to read this Bible until, That's right. until we feel like stopping. That's right. That's, That's right. why we're going to shut it down. You go, you go over That's and stay right. in your sins right now. You go stay in your sins. This scripture right here is, is for you. Give me Amos 9 and 10 again. Give me Amos 9 and 10 again. All you're going to get is this verse right here. That's we ain't, right. We ain't coming out here to play with y'all. Right. The time is short right now. Give me the time is short. Yes, sir. What's that, uh, uh, Romans 13? Bring that out. Come on. Amos. This is this is Acts. You in Acts. I yep. said I want Amos 9 and 10. Yes, sir. Give me Amos in the Old this Testament. This is the, the book prophet. of Acts. Read. Chapter 9 and verse 10. This is for all, all you black, Hispanic, and Native American people that want to tell us to shut up. Read. All the sinners of my people. You the sinner. We're going to show you what sin is. Shall die by the sword which said, uh -huh. the evil shall not overtake or pervert us. Read it again. Keep, this is the book of look, Amos. Look at the Bible Chap when you're reading. Chapter, chapter 9, verse you, 10. You're looking at me and you're messing up the word. All the sinners of my people. All the sinners of God's people. Shall die by the sword. Got to die by the sword. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor pervert us. You, you're saying that the evil won't overtake you. The evil won't pervert you. But guess what? It will. It already has. That's right. If you out here on the Lord's Sabbath day, you've already been perverted. You've already been overtaken. Read. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Uh-huh. And that, knowing the time. You got to know what time we living in. This is not time to play with y'all. Right. This ain't time to be nice to y'all. The, the, the days of being nice was over. Right. We've been out here preaching every week, and y'all still out here. Right. right. It ain't time to be nice. It's time to get rebuked. Read. That's right. That now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. My people are asleep right now. You must wake up and come up out of your sins. Read. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is closer than it ever been before. We've been in spiritual Egypt for, for over 400 years. Right. Uh, breaking God's, the changing of God's laws has already happened. Right. The, 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 the white man got empire set up all across the globe. Right. Right. You get a battery. It's time to wake up. Give me, uh, give me Revelation 18 and 4. But you, you got something? I can hear a second. Yeah, give me something. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. This is what the scriptures say. And I heard another voice from heaven saying. This is what the voice from heaven. Right now, we the voice from heaven. That's right. And what are we saying? Read. Come out of her, uh -huh. my people. Uh -huh. Come out of the ways of America. 
America taught you that it's okay for you to buy and sell on the Sabbath. That's right. America taught our sisters that they could wear pants. America, the white woman said that blonde was beautiful. Blonde is an abomination. That's right. Yes, Cut all that stuff out. You learn that from your slave master because you're still a slave. Read. That's right. That ye be not partakers of her sin. Uh-huh. And that ye receive not of her plagues. You don't want to be partakers of the sins and the plagues that's coming to America. Right. Because you know what the plagues are? Who got that in Zechariah? Is that Zechariah 14? The plague? 14, 12. Yeah, get that. Yes, you don't want to be a partaker of the sins. You hold what you got. You don't want to be a partaker of the sins and the plagues that's coming to America. But let's show them what sin is. Because we already took you to Amos to show you that all the sinners got to die. Revelation in the New Testament said come up out of the sins. That's right. Show them what sin is. Give me yes, 1 sir. John 5 and 3. 5 and 4. Five. Sure. Bring it out. This is the book of 1 John. Uh -huh. Chapter 5 and verse 4. 3 and 4. 3, three and 4. four. Yeah, yes, sir. 3 and 4. Read. This is the book of 5. This is the love of God. Whosoever committed sin. The Bible says whosoever commits sin. Transgresses also the law. Transgresses the law. Read. For, the, for sin. For is, sin. Is the transgression. Is the transgression. Of the law. Of the law. I read y'all some laws. No shrimp. I read y'all laws. No buying and selling on the Sabbath. We gave y'all laws. No blonde hair. We'll go through all that. The Bible says that if you in the midst of your sins of America, you're going to receive the plagues of America. Show them the plague. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. Bring yeah. it out. And this shall be the plague. This is the plague that Revelation 14 is talking about. Wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Guess what? My brothers over here, y'all are fighting against Jerusalem right. today. Because Jerusalem is supposed to be shut down on the Sabbath. Right. That's right. That packing up that you're doing right now, you're supposed to do that on Friday night. And That's then you right. then you set it back up on Sunday. Right. But you're fighting against your own people and against your own God. That's right. So you got to get this plague right here. Read. Their flesh uh -huh. shall consume your, away. I said that bomb was coming for you, right? What happens when that bomb drops? Read it again. His flesh what? Their flesh uh -huh. shall consume away uh -huh. while they stand upon their feet. And guess what? Your flesh going to burn a little bit easier because you ain't got no hair on your face. Right. That flesh going straight to the skin. Straight to the skin. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.